cool now let's create a new AI we can go in here uh, ignore the basic melee and shooter because those are features from the respective uh, templates here we have Hagno and create melee weapon and create shooter weapon but for the AI go to AI controller and hit create new AI here you're going to select your character model um, let's find the VBOT low poly version the animator controller here we have our animator controllers don't forget that if you have the third person controller you you will also have the vector a shooter melee melee combat and basic locomotion from the third person controller so don't forget to choose an AI version okay in this case let's create a basic first now let's select a FSM behavior. We have several behaviors uh, already included in the package. Uh, in this case, I want to create a simple civilian. Cool. Here's the type of the controller. We can have several types depending on what behavior you want. Uh, in this case, a simple just control AI will do enough. Hit create and here it is already with a agent not mesh agent and a capsule collider that matches approximately the size of my character a rigid body the animator uh, controller that assign and here we have uh, two major components the FSM behavior controller which is used with uh, our FSM we will talk more about this later and a base controller. Here we have some options to start like uh, disable the controller or disable the agent. We have the health, we have a health, health cover, we have a death by uh, animation or animation with ragdoll or only ragdoll. Of course you need a ragdoll in your character to do that. And remove components. Here we have movement uh, you can you can use only root motion, or you can use a custom speed which is driven by rigid body. You can also have a root motion and add extra speed if you want. You can change the animation speed, which will affect all animations. Here we have a step offset system, it's the, it's the same as our controller, character controller. So if you have uh, your character is having difficult to go to steps, uh, you can play around with these options. It will help him to go over obstacles. We also have a, a jump system that works with the navigation jump. Here we have auto crunch that you can use a this co this uh, gizmos here will help you um, verify if you need to crunch. We have some options for the agent like acceler acceleration and different stopping distance for different uh, velocities. We have our waypoints that we will, we, I will create a video tutorial talking about a waypoint. A detection, here is the most advanced uh, tab that we have here. You can set up a detection point of reference. Um, it's, it's basically the eyes of your character. For example, let me create here a new empty game object and call it eyes let's go to the eyes and assign it here and now if we turn on the debug visual detection you will notice that the eyes will be the point of start for detection usually around here is great okay in here we have a let me turn off this floor object yeah we have a mean distance which is the black the max distance 
and the lost target distance. You can play around with those values here and see it in real time. It's pretty cool. Anyways, we have several options to play around here, but one of the most important is the detection layer. This is the layer of the object you will um, detect. So you need to set up your layers. I already did a video tutorial talking about that. So if you didn't watch, go back and watch that tutorial. Now that we have our layer player here, we can edit here player and also the tag player. This will make the AI detect actually detect a player as a target. We can we also have some generic events here. So every time you enable the controller or disable the controller, you can call it event. You can call it event when activate ragdoll or or receive damage or is dead. So that's the basic controller. 